I think, uh, Mr. Jetmalani, you will not disagree that if symbolism is the yes. entire idea behind all this, if the if the central theme is symbolism, Mr. Jetmalani, it would have been far more symbolic had Rihina Rabani had both the interest and the care to meet the victims of the 137 attack and their families and those who were killed and also the victims of the of the of the of the, of the earlier mumbai attacks that would have been gone down far more well with the indian people instead of trying to meet this clutch i mean this is all aimed at spoiling but the atmosphere Nawa, before the talks i i entirely agree with you that there could have been pleasanter steps which would have furthered the objective of these talks but Please leave it to the lady to decide no, what but she wants we, to we do. No, we allow the agenda. I mean, Mr. Jetpalani, we, we, we allow the agenda, Mr. Jetpalani. Don't interfere freedom of action we approve and freedom the visit. of context. She is entitled to know from her own representatives Would, in India as to, to what extent they have deviated Ms. from the original line and made concessions in the Ms. interest Mr. of Mr. Jet, Mr. Jetpalani, Mr. Mr. Jetpalani, with all respect to you, today, does this not set the stage not for con constructive talks, but for confrontation. How would the Pakistan no, government uh, uh, respond no, if the Indian no, foreign no, minister no, no, would meet the Baluchi separatist leaders? Arnab, Arnab, why not? Ahead okay. of their talks. Arnab, why my, not even get Chief are, Minister Omar Abdullah here? We, why exactly? Why uh, are they not interested in meeting Omar Abdullah? Is he not I, He's I the representative of the people of Kashmir. He's fought an election. Omar Abdullah, but they probably will meet Omar Abdullah too. No, but this. But, uh, Umar Abdullah, I mean, I, I'm telling you that uh, what is happening today in, in, in Kashmir, the way things are, Umar Abdullah is trying, on the contrary, by his actions, to Mr. tell the world Mr. that the government of India is not Mr. able to provide Mr. A, a, Mr. Jet, a government Mr. in Jammu Mr. and Kashmir. We're getting responses. Which is Mr. Jet Palani, we are getting responses. Maruf, uh, Maruf wants to respond to you questions. first. Maruf. We are today on the question of. Or not, or not, see, the, the, I'd minister. like to, with due no, no, respect, sir, Mr. Jetmalani, sir, let's move away for, for a moment and think that these talks were happening me, in Islamabad or wherever else in Murray, and do, the Indian and foreign minister would have wanted to see representatives of EOK and Northern Territories. That Mr. Jetmalani, one sec, Maruf is rebutting you. I think Mr. Jetmalani is saying something. Maruf is rebutting you. Yes, go ahead, Maruf. Uh, no, I am just saying uh, that you, supposing you, you we wanted to meet up with representatives of POK and Northern Territories, which Pakistan's constitution of 1974 doesn't allow them the right to the third option, which is the option of independence, at least India is magnanimous enough to consider those separatists if they don't want to join the Indian Union. Yeah. We are allowing them the freedom, as Mr. K. C. Singh has lightly brought out. We have actually orchestrated for them to come and meet uh, Ms. Rabani here, Ms. Rabani Khar here, whereas Pakistan does uh, not even allow them to express any other idea other than the idea of joining the Union of Pakistan. So, you know, I think we can just not draw comparisons between how well India has been playing by the liberal democratic process and the act as against Pakistan. The point is, she is here as a guest of the Indian government. She is here for a specific purpose. We hadn't invited her to come and meet Kashmir separatists, for God's sake. Yeah. We have invited her to come and talk to our foreign minister and move things forward between India and Pakistan, which Manmohan Singh's romanticism says that it will one day all become honky-honky-dory. Yeah. I don't see it happening in the next several years. But in any case, even if it does, she has to make an effort to do that. She doesn't have to make an effort to spoil the party before the party is begun. And that's what precisely they've gone and done today. So, uh, uh, Mr. Bhadra Kumar, would you like to revise your position that you initially took? You say this issue is not relevant. I mean, you, the responses that we have from all across our viewers to, the, uh, to this issue shows that, of course, people are extremely angry at this deliberate provocation from the Pakistani government. Now, tomorrow, Mr. Bhadra Kumar, say, a visiting Pakistani politician or secretary were to say that, you know, I would like to meet Ajmal Amir Kasav. Would we say that's also all right? Let's arrange a meeting. Let's fly Kasav down. Let's have a meeting. We, we should not behave in that way. Let the Pakistanis behave in whichever way they want. This is not our style. You see, that's a very 
funny question and I don't think you know, it deserves an answer. <coughs> there is no comparison here. You know, uh, Huriyat people are people with a certain, uh, certain habitation and a name in India-Pakistan relationship. Mi and uh, this has been going on, this kind of meetings have been going on for a long time. If my memory is right, it was in the early 90s in Narasim Rao government time that we decided that these people could be given passports and even allowed to travel abroad. And they Mr. took part invariably Mr. in these human rights forums, whether it is in Brussels, Do in they, Geneva, and so, so on and so, so forth. So, Mr. Badra Kumar, the Mr. Exactly Badra Kumar, please tell me. Down. No, no, Mr. Badra today, Kumar, please today, tell me. On the other no, I have hand, a simple point finish. for you. Arnab, please tell me. me finish, no, no, please, please, please explain to me, Mr. Badra Kumar. Please allow me to ask you. These people, by the way, constantly meet, as Maruf said, in international forums. In fact, it would interest you to know that Hina Rabani met the man Fai in the last week of June. And that Gilani and Mirwai Omar Farooq and the ISI and their ISI handlers and their Pakistan paymasters regularly meet. There is a reason, Mr. Bhadra Kumar, which cannot escape you for the reason for timing this meeting before the meeting with the Indian no, foreign minister. Exactly, the question is on timing. Arnab, this is, Arnab, this is exactly the point. This is exactly the point that this is not a substantive meeting of that kind. It is a meeting for a certain other purpose. Its cosmetic value is what, is ne what needs to be taken into account. So, As you rightly said, there is no dearth of opportunity for Pakistani interlocutors uh, to meet these gentlemen, whether in Pakistan or in other countries, in third countries. And such meetings have been going on all the time. And, you know, as a result of that, India's position on Kashmir has not changed. The situation in Kashmir is not deteriorated. And uh, Omar Abdullah's government is not lacking in legitimacy either. Or that the international community is pointing any accusing finger at India. Mr. India's position, in my opinion, is much, much stronger no, but than for a generation or Casey, two on all these fronts that we are discussing today. I, I, so I, therefore, let's come to Arnab that really the crux of the matter is that, despite that, if a visiting Pakistani dignitary and at the advice certainly of, you know, of, a, of a very competent professionals and political leadership, I decided to meet these people after arriving on the Indian soil. The question is it trust deficit. with a certain purpose. No, there so is that is a real discussion we should get into. KC, KC, KC very thoroughly touched on this. KC. And I am completely in agreement with what he said, that on account of Gulab KC. Nabi Fai's, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, his, 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 his uh, um, uh, situation no, today in the United States, the in terms of the ground situation in Kashmir, we, in terms of the international opinion on I, Kashmir I want, issue, and in terms of no, the low the morale of these world. gentlemen themselves, no. I think the least that the, the Pakistanis could do probably is to have a cup of tea with them in front of, you know... Well, uh, you're you're the, suggesting the, 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 they the could do crowd. more. This is what they have done. You're suggesting, I don't think you're, any you're, you're suggesting they could do more. as a result of it. No, you're, no. K KC, and, the, the, uh, this argument, Badra Kumar says, the least they can do is have a cup of tea. Is it therefore India's responsibility? to take this trust deficit forward. Our responsibility, we be the big brother, we are constantly generous. We allow these meetings to happen. The trust deficit onus is squarely on the shoulders of South Block, KC, it would seem. It's not on Salman Basi's shoulders or Hina see, Rabani's shoulders. The, uh, KC, I want to get KC uh, in. KC. No, no, you see, let's... Arnab, yeah. Yeah. Arnab, I think if you want to... The equivalence would not be to talk of the Baluchis. The equivalence would be that when a foreign secretary or a minister goes to Pakistan, we should insist in, on inviting the people from the northern territories, Absolutely. the Shias who are persecuted there, and who also raising their voice at the Euro on the sidelines of the European Parliament and in international fora, saying that they are also being persecuted in Pakistan. Then why aren't those people brought to Islamabad and we given access to them? That would be the equivalence. Pakistan has very conveniently cut off that part of the territory, annexed it to Pakistan, and for them only part of Kashmir is around Muzaffarabad, which is a very small sliver of Kashmir. What about the bulk of Kashmir on top? And those people don't want to remain with Pakistan. What about the Kashmiri Pandits Ram Jetpalani, who have been uprooted from their own well, soil? Nina Rabani doesn't want to meet them. She no, only wants to meet the people enough. they pay for. Please. Please, please listen to me for a while. Yes, I'm listening, sir. I, when I talked to the Huriyat, the first condition that I made was that any peace settlement will involve the rehabilitation with honor, with dignity, with security of the Kashmiri Pandits. They signed that document and we released it to the press. 
Now, unfortunately, you are all the time trying to score brownie points against Pakistan. I agree that Pakistan has been unreasonable. Has this been a mistake? The, pa the Would problem you have done of Kashmir it? is the creation of Pakistan, the ISI and the army. But let us now solve it. And you are doing nothing to solve it. You are only trying to score points. Sir, the question is of a trust deficit. Who are we to score points, Mr. Jetmalani? Sorry? What is the responsibility right, of a responsible new Pakistani should, foreign minister to India set the atmospherics like right? Mature, strong democracy. We are not bothered about the meeting between the Huryat leaders and the foreign minister of Pakistan. Let them meet. If, Nothing if, will happen. If an attempt we are is strong enough to safeguard our interests. Yeah, sure. So we, we, we are not strong enough to assert that we I would disagree. like to meet. You are behaving like children. Well, okay. Maruf Raza, quick last word to rebut Ram Jetmalani, please. Yes, Maruf. Sir, Mr. Jetmalani, sir, it was our idealism of Pandit Nehru that has cost us dear and has the Kashmir problem now if smacking on our well, face. I agree with you Had Mr. Mr. Nehru that not that taken Pandit the issue Nehru to the UN, the assuming that our case was problem. so strong and that let's have a plebiscite over it because of the assurances that he'd received from Sheikh Abdullah, we'd not have this issue in the first instance bothering us. Now, if but you look more now, specifically, is, 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 you know, it, if you're talking of symbolism of the event, symbolism, of the if this meeting between the two the foreign ministers reality. is about the symbolism, reality is about sending out the message, either you then solve why problems, the symbolism of her meeting separatist leaders okay, the before the talk? Yeah, she's yeah, here for the I'll talks. Walk, and most importantly, as KC Singh has brought out, and I've also brought out, that would India's foreign minister be getting access to leaders and POK in Northern Territories. If they speak against the Pakistani constitution, they are tried for treason. Here we are giving them and removing I, I, them from I mean, house arrest I, 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 and bringing I, I, them for a tea party out here. For God's sake, I think we've lost the plot again and again. And this government must look at the mirror Maruf, and begin to spend the coffee. They're a complete okay, disaster as far as India-Pakistan relations go. And they are an embarrassment to the people of India if this is what we are going to allow to happen under our very noses. Well, we follow the story. Was it ah, right? Well, well, that, that's all right. That, that, that may sound very brave, but it is stupid. Okay, Mr. Jetmalani, we wrap up the debate at this point. <laughs> Where everybody is entitled to their views. I have told him that... I I, but would it have been appropriate for this meeting to have happened before the meeting with our own foreign minister?